The Nora 1000, also known as the Mexican 1000, began as Mexico's first sanctioned race devoted solely to off-road racing. Nora kept this race alive for almost 10 years. This event would lay the baseline for racing in Baja for the next 40 years. In 2010, the Mexican 1000 was reborn and brought back to the Baja Peninsula. The race is ran in a rally type structure with special types of staging and transition sections. Classes are focused on the historic racing vehicles that date back before 1998, but in 2012, a category added called Evolution allowed newer type of vehicles into the race. After more than 50 years, the race begins in the exact same spot. That brings us to where we are today, April 2018. Race teams and drivers have mentally and physically prepared themselves and the race vehicles long and hard to get ready to face the grueling and unforgiving terrain the Baja has to offer. One of the talented drivers, Christopher Povarty, started racing at age 10 and now at age 17 he is challenging himself to the Nora 1000 in his steel it, General Tire, Tiss Wheels Bat F100. The support of his family, team, and sponsors, he hopes to make this race with a great top finish and great numbers. Nora, day one. After racing from Ensenada to San Felipe, day one was coming to an end when the team noticed a minimal hub sea leak that was dripping out onto the tire. After just a couple of hours, the truck was ready to go for the next day. Nora, day two. Day two, we're here in San Felipe. Getting ready to go take the truck out to the starting line. Uh, looking forward to it. Ended up second yesterday, so. I think we'll be starting a good spot and just keep cruising and making some finish. Day two of racing was a hot one for Christopher Paul Vardy and his co-driver, Jimmy Davidson. As the truck began to have air conditioning problems, which also caused the gas gauge to malfunction, leaving them unsure if they can make it back to the chase truck in time for the next gas stop.
nor day three. Day three of racing was set to be the longest and hardest stage of the week. From the Bay of LA to Loreto, they would have to cross one of the infamous Baja silt beds. After about 15 minutes of being stuck in the deep and dusty silt beds, they managed to find a way out and continue with the race. Nora, day four. From Loreto to La Paz meant another long day of racing for the Polvardi team. Day four brought no issues for the team, making an easy night and cleanup and a quick rear tire change. Nora day five. From La Paz to San Jose del Cabo, the home stretch for many of the teams that have made it this far. On the last stage of the Nora 1000, Christopher's truck started having major transmission issues, causing the truck to overheat, greatly forcing Christopher to slow down and crawl to the finish line. Limping across the finish line, Christopher Polvorti and his co-driver Jimmy Davidson finished second in the respected class and 24th overall in the Steelit General Tire Tiss Wheels backed F100.
wraps up guys. Chris Rewardy, we just finished the Nora 1000, all 1300 miles. First time driving the steel at F100, pretty stoked and uh, we're super excited to be down here in Cabo and now it's time to celebrate. I took the full body team of Chris Hill, full body, and third place Roger Malcolm.